All right, there's your view of the newly planted cactus bed, the golden barrels. Now, if we could just change the lighting conditions. All right, that looks much better. There you go. Nice little view there of the golden barrel bed. Shining in the bright sunlight. This flower is a Arizona queen of the night. Oh look, we have a bee. The plant is called Panioceris gregorii. And this is a variety transmontanus. You can see a little bit of the root ball there at the bottom sticking up out of the ground and then this long skinny stem with a flower at the top let's get a closer look at the side of the flower Okay, yeah, I brushed away some of the seed pods so you could see that now. And there's actually more of them next door and a couple of others around this tree. And a long skinny stem and look at the long skinny flower stalk. And the bright white of the petals and the rest of the flower. Look, there's another flower right there. <clears throat> Can't see the stamens at all in this LCD. Let's get a close-up on that flower. Oh, I can see them now. Where are all the bees at today? Okay, there's your little sneak peek at the Arizona Queen of the Night. There's one with a flower already closed up on it right there. Maybe we'll get some fruit out of these guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's a close-up look at a few that I've gotten pots over here. These plants were donated to us, so I haven't planted them yet. And here's an interesting tidbit. These plants do not like to be watered or transplanted in wintertime. So if you're growing these plants, you don't need to give them extra water during the winter, and if you're transplanting, you want to wait until summer. Okay, who out there likes tarantula hawk wasps? We've got a few over here. Let's check it out. Yeah, I should get some close-up action on this. Where's the sunlight? Over here. There we go. How about a close up? Well, for some reason, the party is over here in the sunflower bed. There's a lot of activity.
All right, there you go. Nice view of the wings. Just loving the sunflowers. Nice little curled antlers. All your buddies. Oh, they're right here. Hanging out. All right, it's a sunflower tarantula hawk morning. Okay, we're back in the extreme view here. Looks like they just like the juice of the sunflower. They're not the only ones. Is that creepy enough? We like wasps, they're kind of cool. Well, it's still a little bit windy here, but they're uh, still over here enjoying it. I guess that's a pretty good view there. They seem to be pestered by a bunch of other bugs, little gnats. Nice orange wings. Okay, here's a look for you. Down the line. So you can see how these plants are spaced out. Yeah, that's right, these plants are spaced out. In July, so it's been five months. And guess what today is? Okay, there's a look at the fruit there. Well, that's going to show up. Can't tell. Some nice big black seeds in there. There you go. Arizona queen of the night. Really nice.
nice big seeds in there. Alright, now let's take a look at this one. I think it's going to be kind of shaded until I pop it off. Nice big fruit in there. Let's get right, the unveiling. What do we have today? Big fruit. This is still pretty strongly attached. And I could leave it on, I think I will. We'll have to harvest this one after I upload the video. How about that? Because it's really big. I'll still go in and get a close up for you so you can see all the dirt. It's a dirty fruit. Some dust that blew in on the wind. Now here's an interesting fact that you may not know about. These uh, Paniocerus are a lot like the rest of the genus. They're uh, tall, skinny cactus. But this one grows a really big root and starts to form like a giant carrot. Or tuber underground. Let's see if I can get in here so you can see that. You can, this one's partially exposed here under this tree. There it is. This is just one of the wonders that you might find under a tree in the desert. Ta-ta! Look at that there. You can see some older plants and some crested ones. A whole lot of golden barrel. Alright, now this is going to be hard to see, so I'll have to zoom in. Look at what I found. Okay, you can just put them wherever you want and I'll try and zoom in before they get away. Take a picture of them now? Yeah. You can slow down a little. I can zoom in. Of course, one wants to eat the other, right? So we better let them go. Yeah. The king snake, the black and white one, is a snake eater. Beautiful snake. Okay, we'll let him go first. There you go. You want to go this way or that way? There you go. And he's in the wood pile and he's gone. Bye bye. Hopefully, you won't eat too many of the other snakes. They eat lizards too? Yeah, lizards, even like mice and stuff. I think these eat lizards. These are more like underground snakes, mostly in the, in the underground called a glossy snake and that's a beauty huh look at that that's yeah that's a big snake. one yeah well he blends in with the ground just perfect if he wasn't moving you'd hardly see him can you smell human or king snake he's like I gotta get out of here yeah that's a big one big nice big fat one there we go What's going on there, little fella?